We're at the Shot in the Dark competition at the Creative Coffee Week in Durban. The coffee magazine decided to do a Shot in the Dark because we thought it would create great media, because that's what we do. But secondly, because there isn't a roasting competition in South Africa, and we thought it was really important that roasters also have a chance to compete against each other, but also to collaborate and share knowledge. Um, so we just talked to me about roasting. The idea was to give the best roasters around South Africa two different coffees. Five different roasteries got uh, honey processed coffee from Burundi, and seven roasters got a honey processed coffee from Nicaragua. They each got six kilos, and it was up to them to find the best way to roast that coffee and to present it here today. The coffees are being blind tasted, nobody knows whose is whose coffee and we're going to see which coffee is the best. The experience of getting a coffee like this out of the blue is a kind of fun one because you don't know what you're going to do. If this was a terroir we were familiar with, we'd probably have a starting point, but we don't. So we're going to use our modality that we use for everything, roast it in some preconceived random way and then start playing with it. Plenty of cupping, day one, day five, day ten, trying to figure out what is, makes the ideal Omni Roast because we know the judges are going to test it both as a cupping or a, a filter coffee and also as an espresso. What was really fun for me was when we opened up the bag that was sent to us. I got such excitement because it felt like I was heading into an adventure. It was incredibly important to have a coffee of very high standards so that we can set a benchmark for what's possible, what coffee can actually taste like. And we wanted to have a premium competition with a premium coffee. It's exciting as hell, hey? I mean, the reason I got into roasting in the first place is to play with coffee and to get different flavors out of it, to see what coffee can showcase. It's a roasting competition, and so we're very, very lucky to have Gino on board as an innovative South African coffee roasting company that's doing interesting things, they're developing their app, they're thinking about how to roast the best coffee, they're thinking about how they can engage with roasters. But it's also interesting for us roasters. It's not often we get to speak to somebody who's designed and developed a roaster from scratch. Genio is an incredible brand and not only is it the only South African built and manufactured roasting equipment in the world, but their commitment to this industry is massive. Shot in the Dark is an opportunity for roasters to showcase their skills without being taken out of their comfort zone. So they get the chance to roast their coffees in the comfort of their own roasteries on the equipment that they know, so that we can only focus on the skill of the operator. The coffee that we have received will be roasted on our Genio and we use this Genio specifically for our new products. It's kind of the, the buzz in the roastery because this is where we get to play, this is where we get to experiment. It's a Nicaraguan, I've done a little bit of research on it, tried to speak to the farmers and just get a few of roasting guidelines and yeah, I've got a secret up my sleeves, yeah. A balance and complexity is what I'm always challenging in a cup. Make sure that we get out everything that's there and make it delicious. The personal gain I want to get out of this competition is, is to get external feedback. I think that's invaluable. I don't think we can lose no matter where we finish. I think it's all in the spirit of bringing coffee out into the open and having a lot of fun with our peers. It's really just about the enjoyment of coffee at the end of the day. I think the beauty of a shot in the dark is that the judges didn't know who the roasters were. The roasters didn't know what coffees was theirs at any point in time. The only people who knew were ourselves. There was a huge amount of excitement and anticipation when we put the, the final results up on the board and uh, all there was was numbers. So to correlate a roastery to that number was really amazing. The overall winner of a shot in the dark is number two, true puppy roasting. It was really amazing to have the actual producer of the coffee as one of the judges. Ben from Gold Mountain has so much experience at farm level. And then on the other hand, you've got Lim, he's a celebrity in this industry. And for him to be here in Durban judging these coffees is a once in a lifetime experience for all of us. It was my first time in South Africa. Uh, I've been submerging myself into the uh, specialty coffee industry here and seeing uh, these roasters come together and bringing their, their best work is, is pretty amazing. It's great when roasting companies like Genio get involved in facilitating an exchange of ideas and experiences. The roasters are able to taste each other's coffees and see how roasting in a different way can accentuate different tastes. At the end of the day, what's in the cup is what counts. It was really incredible to have two coffees from two different origins and just really exciting outcomes. 
Creative Coffee Week has really brought together a lot of the industry professionals. I put them in a room together so that we can have a panel discussion and so that we can collaborate on so many different things. It's never happened before and this is really a fantastic occasion to be part of the coffee industry.